Singaporeans, who have been struck off the voter rolls, will be individually informed, both by mail and the Singpass app, to verify their status and restore their names to the registers of electors. Education Minister and Minister in Charge of the Public Service Chon Chan Singh told Parliament on Tuesday that the Elections Department ELD will institutionalize this going forward. In addition to the current practice of putting out statements urging voters to check their status when the non-voter list is published. In the 2020 general election, ELD recorded about 111. 000 non-voters, while in G2015 and G2011, about 155,000 and 147,000 people, respectively, failed to cast their votes, said Mr. Chon. He was replying to questions from leader of the opposition preterm, Singh Aljini GSC. Dr. Tan Wu Wu, Meng Jurong GSC. Mr. Leong Eng, Wa Bukit Panjang and Ms. Heating Ru Seng Kong GRC, who had filed parliamentary questions about recent election-related system issues. September 1st, which was polling day for the recent presidential election PE 2023, saw long queues form at several polling stations from 8 a.m. due to technical issues with the voter electronic registration system. Addressing a question on this by Dr. Tan, Mr. Chan said there was no evidence that the technical problems were caused by cyber attacks. Instead, they were due to the central server not being able to handle the inordinate amount of search by registration devices at the polling stations trying to send back data. As their messages did not go through, the devices kept trying to contact the server, which caused a cascade effect added Mr. Chong. This could have been partly contributed by the morning peak. 52% of total voters turned up to vote in the first four hours. Compared with 32% in GE 2020, he said. ELD officials realized this at about 8.30 a.m. and quickly increased server capacity, and the issue was largely resolved by 10 a.m., said Mr. Chong. Mr. Singh asked about ALD's August 24th statement, which said about 200 Singaporeans had been left off the voter rolls, even though they had voted at GE 2020, and the steps that will be taken to prevent a reoccurrence. Mr. Chon said that from the time the read of election for PE 2023 was issued to polling day, 1,093 Singaporeans told ELD that they did not receive their poll cuts even though they said they had voted in GE 2020. ELD's investigation concluded that the most probable cause of error was that National Registration Identity Card NRIC details of those affected had not been properly captured by the e-registration system introduced in GE 2020. Then, election officials who scan a voter's NRIC would hear a beep. They then had to tap an OK button on screen before they could register the next voter. If they did not and scan the next NRIC, there would still be a beep, but the record of this voter would not have been captured, said Mr. Chon. It is likely that in their effort to clear the queues at some polling stations quickly in GE 2020, some election officials might have missed out this step, he added. A new electronic system was implemented for PE 2023 that did not require officials to press any button before registering the next voter. All 1,093 affected voters have also had their names restored, he added. Replying to Ms. He in an earlier question by Ms. Ng Ling Ling on MOQGSC on whether ILD would inform individual voters who had been expunged from the registers of electors to remind them to apply for reinstatement. Mr. Chong said ELD would do so going forward. ELD will institute an additional measure to individually inform Singaporeans on the non-voter list via mail and through SG notify in SingPass to verify their status and to restore their names to the registers, he said.
Mr. Singh asked if ELD would be sending letters and notifications to all non-voters in GE 2020 who have not applied to put themselves back on the voter rolls. Given the issue with the e-registration system used in that election, this is as there may be those who voted in GE 2020 but had yet to inform ELD that they had been struck off the rolls. Mr. Chan replied that all non-voters would be contacted and reminded to check their status on the registers of electors. Going forward, we will always do this process, all those who for whatever reasons were on the non-voters list. We will send them an individual reminder, on top of the public service announcements that we have made, he said. Mr. Leong asked why ELD does not automatically update the voter rolls with all Singaporeans' names after each election. Given that voting is compulsory, Mr. Chan said, the penalty for not voting and the process of expunging the names of non-voters gives effect to the notion of compulsory voting. Starting on a clean slate with no penalty will undermine this. ELD told The Straits Times it is compiling the non-voter list for PE 2023 and this is expected to be completed over the next one to two months.